So moose, you say mooses? No, you say meese. Meese? Right? Yeah. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> I don't know. Why are you confusing me? No, what? What's the plural of moose? Meese? Meese? meese. <laughs> That's funny as you say no, I don't know. What is the plural? It gotta be mooses. I don't know. That sounds dumb. Two moose. Mooses. Nah, that sounds dumb. Two mooses. You might be the best dressed guest that has ever been oh, on. Oh, thanks, bro. I'm sure it's just jeans and a shirt, bro. Is that a Montclair jacket? This is a DNG, Dolce & Gabbana. Do Damn, you got that bread. No. <laughs> no. How much man. is that jacket? It, this was an expensive jacket, 2000 like 2000 I don't got no $2,000 jacket. Well, I mean, this is the only one I got. <laughs> <laughs> this is the only jacket I got. Yeah, bro. <laughs> how you like it also so far? Bro, I love it out here, man. I love how f different and weird it is. Yeah, it is different, huh? Yeah, yeah. Because where you live at? Phoenix. Yeah. So, uh, and Phoenix has a lot of that same vibe, too. So yeah, I like weird. it out there, too. Yeah. I mean, a lot of diversity and lot, lots of things to do. Yeah. So it's, it's pretty cool. What's your ethnicity? Ethnicity? You Mexican? Mexican. First Mex generation Mexican. Oh, first gen. You speak Spanish? Yeah, fluent. And then also in the last ten years, I've picked up Portuguese training with Brazilians. Damn! But um, so you're going down to Brazil to bag now? Hey, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was that was the inspiration behind it all, man. Yeah. I saw a Brazilian reporter working with the UFC, and I was like, damn, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta find a way to like impress her, like talk to her, yeah. or sp spark up a conversation. And that was one way. Was did like, you bag her? No, I actually never initiated anything, but yeah. that was what initiated the the spark in my Brazilian. But how easy is if you already know Spanish to go to Portuguese? It is pretty easy. It yeah. is pretty easy. Uh, yeah. But you know, I call it like a mix of me. Spanish with French. Oh, okay. So, oh, okay. kind of, kind of, but not really. You think Brazil got the baddest women? <sighs> to be honest, I think Russia is Russia. Russia and Brazil go hand in hand. Let me look up a Russian beauty. Bro, these Middle Eastern women, beautiful women, beautiful women. Let me look it up. You ever been down to Moscow or anywhere in uh? No, I don't think they like comedy. <laughs> <laughs> right. You been over there though? Hell yeah, yeah. Yeah, I went to a UFC fight. Okay, they like all right. Fight. They do like fights. Of course. Yeah, I see what you mean. Right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah you go. You see what I'm saying? But they probably crazy. Oh, <sighs> for sure. They probably crazy. all like Khabib. <laughs> right? Wrestling bears. Yeah, they bad, though. Bro, I'm telling you, these Ukrainian women, these... Uh, yeah, I had a Ukrainian Russian before. Russian women, these beautiful women. Beautiful people. Because they got this weird, crazy mix. I don't know. They got like this Middle Eastern. Sometimes they get the Middle Eastern with the with the Eastern European women. Oh, you gonna have so many pictures on now. Ooh, yeah. check that out. Check that out. Hold up. Uh, Middle Eastern with Eastern European. Beautiful women. I forgot what race it is actually, but there is a race where there is a mix like that, uh, and they're just beautiful women. You'll see. It's exotic. Let me see. That's scary. You see? I'm like, how does God make something so perfect? Because she walk all over me. <laughs> she can stomp all over me. Yeah. She can piss on me. A little bit. I, let, I, her, I let her cheat. <laughs> Would you let her cheat? Yeah. Hell no. Why? Because that's, that's going to be mine. <laughs> yeah. I feel bad for a girl that... <sighs> you let her cheat. Yeah, I let her cheat a little bit. <laughs> With a white dude. With a white dude. Yeah. Oh God. Not a black guy. Not a nah, but not a black dude. Nah. We two. Nah, nah, nah. Hell nah. <laughs> Show you too much. Okay. Too much love, right? There. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. <laughs> you don't go. want that too much mm -mm. love. <laughs>
<laughs> you married? Got any kids? I don't, man. I'm single. Just dedicated to my craft. That's right. Um, I don't. I'm not even talking to nobody at the moment. No prospects, no kids that I none that I know of, and I love it. I love the way. I love how I'm living my life right now. Dope. How long you been fighting? Shoot, I had my first fight at 17. I'm 32 now. Oh, right on. So yeah, man. And you grew up with what type of background? Um, so like first generation Mexican. No, like fighting style. Like. Oh, I grew up wrestling. I grew up wrestling my whole life. So what's harder to learn, wrestling or striking? Definitely wrestling. Wrestling is the hardest sport in the world, 100%. Yeah. I used to wrestle in high school. For real? I was pretty good. For real? Yeah. If I was in shape, I'd wrestle you right now. <laughs> your, your cardio too good. Yeah, I just fought. I'm in good shape. Yeah. I'm in good shape. You wouldn't get me on the ground, though. Oh, don't say that. No. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, <laughs> don't say that. What you deadlift? What do I deadlift? I don't even know, cause cause we don't deadlift to uh, to max like that. We deadlift for performance. Yeah. So it's about like two twenty five. I mean, I, I can do that easy for sure. Yeah. Mm -mm. yeah. Let me let me get in shape and then we gonna wrestle. <laughs> All right, man, come out to Arizona, bro. Yeah. Please. Be out there hot as hell. Yeah, right now is the perfect weather. So come on out there. All the way till February. Okay. Yeah. Then what will it be in February? And then February and then March starts getting closer to fucking summer and okay. it starts getting pretty fucking hot. So how did you first start fighting? Shoot, I, I, I remember my first fight was in Mexico. $20? Yeah, it was uh, 300 bucks. Mm -hmm. And then the guy that set it up, Took fifty dollars, mm -hmm. so two hundred fifty bucks. Who'd you fight? Some other kid. He was pretty good. I was seventeen years old. The, the other kid was like 22, 23 years old. You tagged him up. The tag? Um, not really. I was a wrestler wow. mostly, right? I had just won my state championship wrestling title in Arizona, and uh, I was just strictly a wrestler. And so I went in there, took him, took him down, and armbarred him in the first round. Damn. And then uh, I was like, Yeah, this is this is what I want to do. So did you fight in high school? Oh, oh, wow. Oh. Wow. What kind of fish is on you? <sighs> it could be anything. Carp. Carp is what I'm thinking, right? I bet we won't get it. <laughs> nah. We will never get I shit. bet we won't. <laughs> we will never get shit right here. <laughs> I'm hoping. That made me horny. <laughs> Man. That did get me excited, though. That was a big old fish, but I think it was a carp. <laughs> But yeah, man. My buddy who fishes this lake all the time told me to start using corn. Using corn? Yeah, that's what carp like. Okay. Sure, I didn't know that. But what you were saying growing up, what? Yeah, just pretty much grew up wrestling, bro. Once I got introduced to to fighting. So you're a little not there. You see where you're Yeah. Over? That's crazy. You They're coming out. Maybe we will. Fuck, doubt it. So where'd you learn striking at? I grew up, I grew up uh, boxing as well. Yeah. So when I wasn't wrestling, I was training boxing. Were you street fighting? No, I've actually never been in a street fight. Though my dangerous. Yeah. No, I'm the type of dude. If you you step on my foot in the bar or something, I'll be like, I'm, I'm starting to put my foot there. Yeah, that's back. how most fighters are. Most, but not all. <laughs> I've seen some other dudes that be like, what the fuck? Yeah, but when you know you can easily dismantle something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm scared of what I'm, I'm going to do to you exactly. if it comes to that, yeah. to be honest. Damn. You ever felt like that in the ring? Yeah. Like yeah about to, you, ever, you ever know you about to fuck somebody up? Yeah. Yeah? Hell yeah. How can you tell? You just, you just, it's all in the preparation when it comes to fighting. Yeah. It's all in the preparation. Fuck. What's the right preparation? Just knowing, just, you just got to know when it comes to fight, you just got to know you're ready. So if you put in the work and you know you're ready and then you know you're ready, then you, you know you're going to win. So did you feel like you were ready for this last fight? I left no stone unturned for this last fight, man. Except for cutting, what, 30 pounds in two months? <laughs> yeah, exactly. We put in a lot of work to be able to do that, bro. Do you feel like that had an impact? 
I mean, I don't want to put up excuses, but kind of. But I'm not going to put up excuses. I mean, it's not an excuse, but that's a lot. That is a lot. But, I mean, that's what I signed up for. Do you feel like you're better than the kid that beats you? I do. Got to get that rematch. <laughs> I do. But you know what? Kudos to him. He did his thing, and he did it well. So, eventually, maybe. He's still young enough, so am I. How old is he? 31. Okay. I'm 32. You know, but he's a little bit newer to, to to the sport that I am. You know, I've been doing it for a little minute. So how much longer do you want to fight? Probably till I'm 35, if I can, if yeah. I'm lucky. Yeah. Then what? Then I'll, I'll have to find a way to transition somehow, man. Commentating or, or fucking, who knows? Box Jake Paul. I can call out Jake Paul's ass. So if he's watching. Would you beat him? Fuck uh, yeah. You got to. Tyrone Woodley, man. <sighs> Tyron, you disappointed me with that, yeah. man. I was yeah. hoping he'd be able to do it in the name of MMA, you know? You know how you first got on my radar? You were the first person who made Israel out of Sonia look human. Oh, you saw that one? Yeah. You that was good. I mean, that, that fight got fired the year that year. Really? Yeah. You tagged, y'all were both fucked up. Yeah. I mean, more more so I, I think. He fucked up. I mean, that was the most. Oh, there was another one. Definitely a carp. Did we get that yeah, on video? Yeah, it was definitely a carp. You think you were more fucked up? That was the most I've ever been fucked up. Nice. But I went to the hospital, man. I remember it was fucking, I was in the ER. I remember, was, I remember like being semi-conscious in the hospital and there's like people coming in with like shot up, like people's brains pouring out. It was funny. But yeah, you know, I'm pretty sure I had a concussion that night. Damn. But well, he's also 6'4". Yeah, he's he's a big dude and he's really good. Yeah, you know what I mean. That's my boy too. Yeah, is he? You know, you've been hanging out with him yeah. a little bit. Nice. He's a cool dude, man. What is it? A little brown. He retired for what the next seven years. <laughs> That's what he said. <laughs> That's what he said. How old is he? Thirty-one, thirty-two. He's a little older than I am, like thirty-four. So he don't want to come back till he's forty-one. Nah, he didn't retire to seven years. He said he's going to be come back in like 2027. Oh, that's what it was. Yeah. That's still. That's a while, man. That's more than, that's a, if anything more than a year is a lot. You know what I mean? I love Izzy, but him calling out John Jones. That's not going to work out. That's insane. That wouldn't work out, I think. <coughs> John Jones is a... Nah, John... He's an X-Man. I mean, John can do it all because he's just so big, yeah. athletic. All his brothers are athletic. Chandler Jones, crazy. And he's the smallest one, right? Is he? I think so. Shoot, that's crazy. You I, friends with him? I did because he was with the Cardinal. AZ Cards, baby. No, I mean, you friends with John Jones. Oh, no, no. But he, uh, he was the other coach on The Ultimate Fighter, the show that I was in. Yeah. Like, fuck, 10 years ago. Um, he, he was the other coach. He lives in New Mexico. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? So if, so if you remember, like, John Jones was that coach, and then Chael Sonnen. You know Chael Sonnen? Mm-mm. Chael? He's, like, one of the greatest trash talkers in all of MMA. Not Connor? I think he's better than Connor. What's his name? Chael Sonnen. What? Chael Sonnen. I don't know him. From the mean streets of Westland, Oregon. Uh-uh. Nah, you're going to have to look it up, man. He's hilarious. Hilarious. He's got the greatest stories and one-liners and, 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 and quotes in all of MMA. You think me and him can roast? Yes. It'd be good. It would be great. You ever seen my roast with Michael Bisman? Nah. He's Is it good? I, yeah, he, I'm, I'll show it to you right quick. <laughs> Mike Bisman. was on here? No, no, no. This was on Kill Tony. Yeah, that's funny. I fought Mike. With one eye or, or what? With one eye. Did he beat you? No, nah, unfortunately he did not. Oh. So what weight class you fight, uh, fighting at? 
So like I said, this is my first time cutting down to that weight class, right? Well, yeah, Welter. Welter weight, 170 pounds. You were for I've been fighting at middleweight for a long time. Blue Chew is a unique online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra, Cialis, and Levitra, but in chewable tablets and at a fraction of the cost. You can take them anytime, day or night, so you can plan ahead or be ready whenever an opportunity arises. The process is simple. Sign up at BlueChew.com, consult with one of our licensed medical providers, and once you're approved, you'll receive your prescription within days. The best part? It's all done online, so no visits to the doctor's office, no awkward conversations, and no waiting in line at the pharmacy. Blue Chew tablets are made in the USA and prepared and shipped direct to your door in a discreet package. And I know a lot of people ask, does it work? Don't think you'll need it? <laughs> Try it for a month and see. You're going to love it. You could be missing out on the best sex of your life. Blue Chew wants to help you have better sex. Discover your options at BlueChew.com. Chew it and do it. And we've got a special deal for all of our listeners. Try Blue Chew free when you use our promo code David at checkout. Just pay $5 shipping. That's BlueChew.com, promo code David, to receive your first month free. Visit BlueChew.com for more details and important information. And we thank Blue Chew for sponsoring the podcast. Get all your Christmas shopping done in one stop. Give every person on your list the gift of upgrading their space with Displate. Displates are metal posters that take just 20 seconds to install and won't damage your house. They come with a magnet that you stick to the wall, then the display sticks to the magnet. Easy as that. With, with licensed designs from brands like Star Wars and Stranger Things to gifts perfect for sports fans, Display has what you need to make the season bright. I personally love fishing, and this is a fishing podcast, so I have a fishing display. What you can do is save up to 30% off when you click the link in the show notes. Discount will automatically be applied to your cart when you click the link. Or use code David when you visit Display.com. That's Display.com, code David, or click the link in our show notes. Thank you. Display for supporting the show and please support display. So outside of fighting, how do how does a fighter make money? Man, there's a lot of things, but it's sponsorships, appearances, meet and greets. Mm -hmm. You can teach classes as well. A lot of fighters teach, you, you know, teach, other, open them I, I actually don't, but I mean, I, I could, you know what I mean? And they charge well. You think you made enough to retire? Uh, uh, hell no. I'm not yet where I want to be. You know? How many more fights do you think you need? Um, no, I, I, to be where I want to be, I'd, I'd have to like win the world title first and then probably defend it once or twice and you then did. I'd be set. <laughs> but y'all make decent, right? I mean, I'm in a position where I make good. I make good money. But yeah. I mean, I've been fighting in the organization for 10 years, but you know, there's guys coming in, you know, fresh guys get yeah. like 20 and 20 or something like that. I don't even know if that. Let me hold something, man. Let me hold like 100,000. You know, I got it right now. Yeah. 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 <laughs> That's only five of those jackets. Well, 50 of those jackets. <laughs> <laughs> Are you good at math? I couldn't yeah. do that, man. I'm good at math. I, I, no, I was horrible at math. You've been hitting the head too much. I've been hitting the head too much. Yeah. It's time for you to stop. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to teach you how to do comedy. <laughs> yeah, right, bro. I can never do that shit. You had me laughing in the ride over here. Nah, I can never do that. I can never do what you guys do, bro. Why? I, that, I was scared I would come out here to the podcast. I'd, you'd be roasting my ass. Nah, no, I'm a nice guy, man. Shit. Got big ass feet for my little body or something. I don't know. Nah. <laughs> You can beat me up. <laughs> and I didn't bring my gun, so I can't touch you. Uh, I'll, just, I'll just throw you in the lake, man. Damn. Yeah, I yeah, man, I like to come home on a nice little Monday after a long day of training and just put on Kill Tony, and that's how I know you. I actually haven't watched the podcast, but I've been watching you, your guys' shit every Monday. So what's the biggest difference uh, for you right now fighting that welterweight compared to middleweight? Uh, there's a lot of differences. Obviously, the weight classes, and then obviously the opponents. Okay, I got a whole lot of cool options that I can fight. Um, now that I fucking lost my last fight, well, I probably won't have as many options, but there's still a lot of cool matchups for me at welterweight that are nice. fun and 
they get me excited, which is which is pretty cool. So, not a lot of fights get me excited these days, you know. But uh, why? Just because uh, I don't know. I don't know. It has to be somebody worthy that gets me excited. What's your record now? Fuck, I don't even know. Like eighteen and nine or something. Yeah. I started. I was when I started with the UFC. I was five and zero. Oh. Mm. Go fight in Japan. <laughs> How do you set up fights? Yeah. You ever seen that shit? I have, man. That's the cool thing now these days. There's other organizations where you can't fight. There's fights in fucking. There's fights in Japan. There's fights in China. There's fights in uh, Russia. Saudi Arabia, right? Saudi Arabia. Would you ever fight over there? Hell yeah. I fought in Abu Dhabi before. Good check, huh? It was nice. Yeah. Nice at the time. So what? What's it like the after, like the first few days after your fight? Oh man, it depends. You know, like I was saying on the ride car, how it depends on the how fucked up you are from the fight. You know, but you're not too fucked up, man. Nah, man, I actually came out healthy, so I'm just and I lost my fight, so I'm thinking I'm just gonna stay healthy, stay in shape, and fucking stay ready if something pops up. But usually I like to take time off, especially during the holidays. I'd be in Cancun and fucking just living it up and partying it up and celebrating, having a good time. So how long did it take you to recover from the Izzy fight? That one took a minute, man. That one took a minute, probably like a, like a month or two. Damn. Yeah. But even then, like, I still, it was funny because after the fight, we had in April, it was April 2019, we saw each other in July. And they were just chopping it up, seeing, like, he was showing me the scar that I made him. And then he, I was showing him the scar that he made me. Like, my lip was fucking cut in half. This his ass. We beat each other up pretty good. He's a cool dude, man. I've always, you know, I've always respected him. He always shows respect. So he's always been cool with me. You ever been mad where you want to like kill somebody after a fight? Nah, I just mad at myself. Uh, like after, uh, after a disappointing performance. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you are just mad at yourself. What's his name? Khabib. Never lost. But he looks like he'd be ready to kill somebody. Oh, I'm sure maybe he is. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> nah, but he's a straight up killer, right? You ever met him? Yeah, we're managed by the same guy. How is he in person? Khabib's the nicest dude ever, bro. Yeah? Nice guy, brother. Nice guy. <laughs> he retired, right? Yeah. And he's young. Yeah, yeah, he's like my age, if not a year older or so. Yeah. So he made some money and got out? Oh, yeah, he's, he's rolling. He's rolling well. You'll get there, dog. That's what I'm working for, man. Or I'm gonna hook you up with a drug connect. <laughs> Please, man. I live out in Phoenix, so I. I you can move can some stuff. We can move some stuff. <laughs> Definitely get my tios and my uncles and shit. <laughs> <laughs> if you weren't in fighting, what do you think you would be? Shit, dude. I don't know. To be honest, probably something in, in law enforcement or something. I don't know. That's what I always wanted to get into, but. I don't know. A cop? I can see you as a cop. <laughs> I was a bail bondsman before. Really? Before fighting full time. Choking people out? <laughs> I wouldn't choke nobody out, but they they they, they tread me. <laughs> hey. That's funny as hell. I was like 19, picking people up. I arrested about a dozen people. Did that pay well? Nah, not in my position. What is it like? I like, are you gonna pick up a person? What does it pay, like 500 bucks? It depends on the bomb. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, for me, yeah. And what you gotta do, just yoke them up? Nah, you know, you just gotta talk to them. Like, bro, you know what you did. Got a warrant out for your arrest. We got the paperwork right here. Your mom's gonna lose her house if you don't fuck. <laughs> you know? Sometimes that happens. You know, you, you gotta put a collateral on. So sometimes it's the title of a house, sometimes it's the title of a car, sometimes it's cash, sometimes it's jewelry. So you've never had to get rough with somebody you arrested? Yeah, we 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 had to get rough, but never not never too too crazy. Wow, what what you, what you did to him? Nah, we were just like toggle. That's normal. Yeah, exactly. That's what I think. You ever been arrested? I've never been arrested. Really? 
Yeah. You a good guy? For the most part, I feel I am, maybe. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what's your what's your one bad thing you think you got? Women. Oh, women are a distraction or well, they're a weakness for sure. <laughs> I think for anybody though, yeah, right? Yeah, I don't, I don't know. All right, bro. You show me those Russians mixed with Middle Eastern. There you go. They were checking. Anybody ever try to grab your nuts while y'all fighting? I don't know. I don't think so. You don't really ever think about that shit. At least not me. I'm I'm in there trying to survive. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. You ever... Do you feel this is the only fight you've lost where you're supposed to win? No. There's other fights I feel I was supposed to win. What do you say is that deciding factor that you didn't win? It, it, it depends, man. On the very, there's a lot of variables. Like this time, I feel like I didn't. I probably didn't get enough rest. Mm. That was one thing. I was trying to do too much shit. Mm. Like after the weigh-ins, and I had a hard weight cut. I showed you. I should have just rested instead Can of I trying. Can I have those videos? Nah, this is classified information. But I should have just rested, man. Yeah. But fuck it. Next time, bro. Bro. I fucking hope there is a next time. We'll see. There it is, bro. You're good. <laughs> Fuck, get this shit. Oh, you got a fish? Nah. Uh, the way you really know you got a fish. Nah, I don't. Fighters don't know. You know how to hunt? <laughs> I've actually never been hunting. Only there like, is other fighters that hunt and fish and shit. Only life skill most of you fighters got is killing somebody. Oh, shit, you dude. You almost hooked me. What the fuck? You see it? So you fought some legends, right? I fought some big names, man, yeah. yeah. Who, you ever been like starstruck fighting somebody? Nah. Cause what's the what's the guy's name, Belfort? Vitor Belfort? Yeah. You know him? Yeah. yeah. How was that? That was cool. That was really cool. It was just cool? That was one of my favorite fights that I had. Really? That fight. Jacare in Brazil. Yeah. Fucking 16,000 people yelling at you, you're gonna die. Really? Yeah. You That's the normal for them. Ooh, vamos a ver. Ooh, vamos a ver. You're gonna die. Literally, that's what they're saying. And it's the whole arena saying it. To you? Yeah. They hated you that much? Nah, actually, it was funny because I'd be walking down the street and they'd be like, hey, gosh, let's take a picture. Really? All right, all good luck, but you're gonna die. <laughs> Seriously, I don't lie. <laughs> it's just like a, a thing they say, you know. They don't. They, they're just saying you're gonna fucking lose. You know? Yeah, that's just their way of saying that. It's a cool culture, man. Did you like it when you were there? I did. Yeah, I did. Rio, Copacabana, yeah. fucking drinking coconuts by the beach. You met some honeys. Met some baddies. It was bro, Brazil. <sighs> Brazil, have you been to Brazil? Never, I'm scared. Oof. I'm scared I meet my wife. You should. I'm People terrible. have come back married from there. That's what I'm saying. And they'll probably let you have two or three. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Was it dangerous? Because they're out there looking for that green card. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They're going to get you. So that's 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 my baby, baby. You want a, you want a green card? Come over here. <laughs> that's how you trick them. How long you got to stay married? <laughs> How long you gotta be saying? Two years? I, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. I haven't is looked it, into it, is thankfully. It, is it dangerous like they say? It is, it is, it is. I remember uh, a whole UFC, a, U, a whole group of UFC staff got got mugged at gunpoint. Got their cell phones, their passports, jewelry taken away. And then for whatever reason, the, the higher boss of whatever gang is there they like take their passports and the cell phones back to the police station and turn them in because UFC does a lot of charity work out there so I'm pretty sure he ret- I'm that's pretty sure dope. that's the reason why he returned the favor that's dope as hell that was crazy though you know what I mean I remember seeing some of the some of the UFC staff they're fucking balling man. I was like what the fuck is going on what they're like oh he just got robbed what's the point of crying <laughs> I don't know she was freaking out This holiday season, as you're pounding down potatoes and gravy, think about everything you've looked at on your phone this past year. Every website, every OnlyFans link, 
whoever has access to your Wi-Fi can have access to all the crazy shit you've been looking at unless you do what I do and use ExpressVPN. The ExpressVPN app on my phone encrypts all of my online traffic, so whatever I do stays private. Incognito mode does nothing except hide your history from yourself. There are hundreds of VPNs out there, but the reason I use ExpressVPN is because it's ridiculously fast. There's never any buffering or lag, and you can stream in HD no problem. If you don't have ExpressVPN turned on, you might as well airdrop your entire browsing history to the neighbor, your landlord, and the hotel IT guy. That's why I've partnered with ExpressVPN to get you a special holiday offer. Go to expressvpn.com slash David Lucas right now and you get three extra months free. That's expressvpn.com slash David Lucas expressvpn.com slash David Lucas to learn more. Any other way in the, any, any other place in the world where you felt like this is dangerous as hell? Russia, I feel like I was with some dangerous people. I didn't even know who these guys were. I feel like I was with some some crazy guys. They had you protected, though. Right? Yeah, I felt protected. And they're showing me some cool places. And it was cool. Russians are different. Yeah, Russians are different. They look cold. This is like, Russia. They, their face. It was different. It they was grew different. up different. I don't know, man. They're like, yeah, a lot of politicians come here. And I'm like, what about gangsters? <laughs> no, nah, I don't know. That's that what I was thinking of. You a gangster? Shit. Hell no. You got some gangsters in your family. Nah, but I always say, I always say, like, if you're from Yuma, where I'm at, Yuma, Arizona, it's a tough little town, man. You're a little gangster in your little country. Yeah. 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 For sure. You ever, um, you got anybody in your family? Like, you're the fighter that went to do it. But anybody in your family who you think is like a better fighter than you? Nah. Nah. Yeah. Normally it's like that. Nah. No, nah, the 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 kids that are growing up in my generation that are in the, that came like my cousins' mm -hmm. kids, that generation yeah. growing up, they're like out here doing baseball, okay, and soccer, and like I think that generation is is doing really, is gonna do really good if they stick with their their craft. Yeah, my daughter played tennis. Is she on another level? Or what? She played tennis uh, and volleyball. She's tall and athletic, but we won't, you can't really tell till they get, she's nine. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's around get, the same. When she get 13, we'll know, all right. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She she's... wanna play tackle football. Oh, damn. She crazy. I'm that's another thing, yeah. I don't know. But like my little nephews, they're in like traveling teams. They've gone to Croatia to do these soccer camps. Croatia? Yeah, and they get invited too. And they're on these national traveling teams. And I'm like, damn, this, I, shit, I wish my parents did this shit. Get that billion dollars. Yeah, I mean, one day I think they're going to be in the, in, the, in the major league soccer or something. And they get paid well, you know what I mean? Hell yeah. What you call it? Got a bill? He got a billion? Mbappe? One of them, yeah. That, that was an offer there. I think he refused it to From go to Saudi, Saudi Arabia. Arabia. But how much did uh, Messi? I don't know. Did Messi, how much did Messi get? I want to say he got like three hundred mil. But it's it more than it's, it's more than three. Ronaldo. It's more than uh, three hundred mil, right? Oh yeah. It was Ronaldo that went there. Probably close close to like five hundred. Yeah. That's bro. That's generational money. Oh, Oh, hundred percent. Like you get five hundred million dollars, bro. You've changed your lineage. Yeah, hundred percent. I need one hundred and fifty million. That's to change my. Okay. Whole family to where my kids, kids, kids. Yeah, hundred, hundred fifty million. I'm That's, trying, I'm trying to get at least, a, at least one shit. You, you, you <laughs> made a million dollars in your career. I have made a million dollars, but shit, I don't have a million dollars right now. <laughs> 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 Let me hold. Well, I can hold twenty. Can I hold twenty thousand? Sure. Want to watch it? <laughs> I'll give you my my watch. No, I want that. I want the AP. <laughs> no. I want the AP, dog. <laughs> Which one? I'll get you. No, I'm kidding. So give me a little rolling. <laughs> I ain't got no watch, man. No, I'll fuck with watches though. Yeah. I will spend some money on some on a good watch. What's your most expensive watch? It was an uh, an AP. Six figures? No, 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 hell no. Fifty. Thirty. Yeah. You do real estate or anything? Any type of investor? Not at the moment. Not at the moment, bro. 
off camera I'll talk to you. All right, yeah. all right. Yeah. We'll get some we'll get some business going. Uh, maybe not me and you. <laughs> but I can hit you in the right direction. All right. <laughs> no, I'm 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 eventually gonna get into it because I got people that do Now's the time. Do that do do that. You know what I mean? And I think that's another way that I'm gonna transition as well. I actually didn't, didn't didn't say it, but I was thinking about going that real estate route as well. More like an investor, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Don't really yeah, you don't wanna be no landlord. No. Just, no. You know, yeah. No, I'm not trying to take no real estate test. No, nah, fuck that. <laughs> no. Nah. Imagine you selling real estate. <laughs> yeah, this house big as shit. <laughs> it's on the water and shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You <laughs> this house big to the motherfucker, bro. Big ass bathroom, big ass living room. <laughs> uh, we got lake back shit. <laughs> you like the grill? Shit, man, you grill right there. <laughs> You'd be cool. You'd be like, yeah. that would sell me on a house. Yeah. <laughs> Cause like yeah. I, I've been house shopping and like these realtors started telling me about shit that I don't give a fuck about. Yeah, this house was made in 19. Right. Like, I, like if I don't like it, I don't like it. Yeah. Yeah. I don't 100%. care who designed it. Yeah. None of this. You know? 100%. No, nah, just show it to me so I know what I like. Right. I know, yeah. I know what the fuck I like. I don't need all that talk. No. I don't need all that talk. This is too, bro, this is too peaceful. But I feel like once I get a house like this, bro, I'll get lazy. Like, this will be my prison. Oh, you won't go out? You won't get the fuck out? Yeah. You feel like this will be your prison? Yeah. Oh, what the fuck? What? I, no way. You I thought I, I felt the bite or something. No. That'd be the craziest thing ever, right? <laughs> nah, not really. Imagine. I mean... A carp, probably, you know. They're gonna fuck around with a hook? I don't think so. I, I know so. They stupid. There we go. Damn, what was the other question I wanted to ask? Oh, yeah. Was that, what the, f are those are people? Let me see it, bro. <laughs> Let me see it. Ah, oh, shit. Here we go. Those people? I'm Dang. not an outdoorsy dude. Dang, are those people? I don't know. Swimming? It's oh, cold as shit. Oh, the fuck? They're like doing that board. It's too cold to be in the water right now, bro. 100%. Damn, thanks. I'm not that extreme. Well, I lived in Huntington Beach for 10 years, bro. I got in the water twice. Bro, like, bro. Way listen, too cold. Listen, dog, that water in California was cold. Way too cold. I lived in LA for 11 years before I moved here. Yeah, 10 years. I went to the beach maybe four, five times, and every time I went to the beach, it was because of a chick. <laughs> Not yeah. because I went on my own. Yeah. You want to go to the beach? No, bitch, I really don't. <laughs> <laughs> you want to have a walk? All right, yeah. <laughs> Set them out of here. Fuck. So, I guess. Shit. So let me ask you a question, yeah. bro. Once you make, because I feel like you're going, especially on my podcast, bro, you're going to get that million dollar fight. But Amen. once you get that million dollar fight, after you do that, isn't it going to be hard to want to go get punched more? You get yeah. a couple of, like, what? what's the motivation once you got, say, five million in your bank account? Yeah, yeah, exactly. No, I'm asking for you. What would be your motivation? Just pure fucking pride and... You and, love it? Yeah. That'd be yeah. the only thing. I mean, this is the only reason. You would have to love it to be able to get up every day. I mean, we get punched in the face. I mean, this, is, this isn't this is fun. This is not a fun sport. I don't recommend it to anybody. Go to school. Become a comedian. Don't fucking... Don't <laughs> fucking... Like here in prison. Go to school. <laughs> fucking fight. Don't do that. Don't. Kids. <laughs> you sound like uh, scared straight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you sound like scared straight. Don't do Go it, to school. Bro. This is a hard fucking life, bro. And it's more than likely that a lot of you don't get to fight in the big leagues like I do, let alone fucking 10 years. Yeah. The lifespan of a UFC guy is probably a, a year or two. I don't know. So I've been blessed. I've been yeah. blessed to do it, be able to do it for as long as I have. I notice what really sells is a big personality in the UFC. 100%. 100%. The UFC is a marketing machine. Right. That's really what they are. The hell right. kind of birds are those? Oh. Geese? Or is it gooses? <laughs> 
two geeses. Geeses? Is two go- is is two is gooses? gooses? I don't know. <laughs> is it two geeses or two? Oh, just two geese. Two geese. Yeah. No S. No. Yeah, I think if you say if you add the ES, then groups of geese. You can't say two gooses. No. <laughs> so moose, you say mooses? No, you say meese. Meese? Right? Yeah. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Why, why are you confusing me? No, what's, what's the plural of moose? <laughs> meese? Uh-huh. Meese? <laughs> That's funny as fuck. You said mooses. No, what is the plural? It gotta be mooses. Hell <laughs> yeah, no, that sounds dumb. Two moose. Mooses. Nah, that sounds dumb. Two mooses. I've never heard anybody say moose plural. He said meese. Meese. Yeah. Meese. <laughs> is it not? I don't know. I don't know, dude. <laughs> I haven't been in school in like 20 years. I don't fuck Bro, that's that. a viral clip right there. <laughs> <laughs> two two <laughs> I speak three languages. I forgot. <laughs> yeah, I feel you, bro. How you say moose in Spanish? Probably ain't even a word for it. <laughs> And you know what? I don't fucking know it. Exactly. I don't fucking know ain't no, it. ain't no, ain't no Mexican. Ain't no, more. ain't no mooses in Mexican or yeah. mises in Mexico. <laughs> I don't fucking know. <laughs> ain't no mises in Mexico. <laughs> Damn right. <sighs> so before we get out of here, let me ask you a couple more questions. Uh, who's your dream opponent right now? Where you stand right now? Any weight class. Mm. Then probably Nick or Nate Diaz would be crazy, right? Them boys different, right? That'd be tight. That'd be a good fight. I mean, it'd be cool. Yeah, nah, you, that'd be great. So let me Especially ask. Actually, his older brother Nick, they're cool dudes, but. So like, if you're friends with like, say, Nate Diaz. I am. I mean, oh. I mean, I wouldn't say friends, but we're like friendly acquaintances. Could y'all set it up on your own to be like, all right, we, let's fight? Uh, no, nah, I don't think if he if he decides he he's gonna fight somebody, he's not gonna do that. No. <laughs> Have you seen Nate with his opponents? Like he'll get in your face. Yeah. He'll suck you in your mouth. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I was kind of mad when he fought. Uh, what you call it? The boxing match. Jake Paul. Yeah. What? Because I thought he was. I... He didn't do none of that, did he? No. Nah. No, he didn't. That's why I kind of be feeling like Jake be paying them boys a lot. Right? To not really like, because Tyrone Woodley. Bro. Getting put on the canvas. How did you, how does that not happen once in your entire and I mean, I've, I've, I talked title to, reign? I talked to Rogan about it, and he says that Jake Paul's a decent fighter. I'm like, I get that. But Tyrone yeah. Woodley is a skilled fighter. Yeah. yeah. No, I got to give it to Jake Paul. He comes in in shape, and he throws hard for however long the fight long lasts but is there actual skill high level skill behind it? i don't see it you know what i mean he just goes in there and he throws good one two punches and um that's 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 really good yeah. comes in in very good shape probably in on peds or something yeah because a lot of that shit you can't test for it right well, I don't think he tests. I don't, you know, it's his organization. I don't know if he. Oh, even, I don't know, even know if he even tests himself, right? Yeah. And it's crazy to me. Like, do you watch boxing? A little bit. I've said this. Adrian Brunner, who is a decent boxer, yeah. should call out Jake Paul. Make a bump with your money. That'd be a slap in the face to real boxing and real but boxing. Adrian Brunner will actually shut him the fuck up. I know, but that's. I don't know. I just feel like. Box, real boxers kind of look down on that kind of shit. Like, ask Canelo, has he heard or, or, of Jake Paul? He'd be like, who? Right. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. Canelo, yeah. that's a bad boy. Oh, dude, that's that's the top of the top. I mean. He ain't better than Triple G, though. He beat him. Um, He beat an old Triple G. Nah, he beat him twice. Nah. Clambuterol. Clambuterol. Didn't he pop for Clambuter or uh, Canelo did? What's that? That's like a PED. I thought uh, Canelo said it was the meat in Mexico. Yeah. Is that real or is that some yeah. excuse? That happened to me one time. Really? Mm-hmm. 
I had to show like evidence of my flight to Mexico, receipts, ba bank statements, the receipt that I, or the, the, the receipt of the meat that I had and like the time that I had, like the, I had to show receipts for everything because I fought for a little bit of Clem Butyrol. So what exactly is Clem Butyrol? I don't know, I guess it's like a steroid. It's supposed and to they help. put it in the beef? They put it in the meat, right, in Mexico. Damn. But I'm not sure exactly what it is. Damn. That's but I just know that it was the same shit that Canelo popped for, and they were saying that he was actually like injecting that shit. Yeah, and you got uh you got in trouble for weed one time, right? Oh yeah, a couple of times, man. <laughs> a couple of times. Yeah. <laughs> <And> you, <laughs> how long were you suspended? One time, six months. Or one time, three months. Yeah. I was like I, a pioneer in it with Nate Diaz. People don't even know. I feel like, bro, <laughs> y'all getting hit. Why you can't smoke weed? Bro, that's what I'm saying. It's like, why am I getting in trouble for like trying to heal my body and make sure I'm okay is mentally, it, physically? Like, fuck. Is it as random as they say, or do you know? It, it, nah, you don't even know. I hate it, too. I'm glad they're going to be over with that. Hopefully they're over with USADA and they get rid of those fucking random 6 a.m. knocks. They'll come before you take your morning piss. They make sure you come right before it. Damn. So they got you at 6 a.m.? Oh, plenty of times. They, they make sure to come early in the morning. So and you pee a lot, bro. You don't pee. <laughs> since, <laughs> since we've been together for two hours, you pee three times. Come on. Because you got me drinking this Aquafina, That ain't bro. even a lot of water. <laughs> <laughs> That's not even a lot of water. I'm in good shape. Maybe my body is functioning well. No, it is. Too you, well. You're in great shape. You look great, bro. Too well. Yeah, well, great. I just fought Saturday. So, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I did do a lot of good work for this camp, and I came in really good shape. What's your walk, what's your walk around weight now? Well, now it's, it's probably around 195. Yeah. Usually when I'm fat and I'm like not training, I'm fucking like 205, 200. Are you like a fat kid at heart? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's yeah. why I fought middleweight for a long time. It's like, I didn't want to make that extra drop. You know what I mean? That's just suck. I mean, Middleweights hit harder? Middleweights are bigger. Middleweights are bigger, hit harder and shit. Yeah. But I had success and that's why I kind of stayed there. And you know, I wanted to come back down and hopefully mix it up a little bit with uh, with, with some different guys and new guys in the division at welterweight. And mm -hmm. There's a lot of cool options for me at welterweight, and I think that's always been my rightful weight class. I yeah. just had success at middleweight, so I just kind of stayed gotcha. there. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, man. Well, thank you for being on the pod, bro. Sorry. Bro, thanks for the invitation. Sorry we catch you on the fish, but we will next time. <laughs> All right, man. All right, you got anything Appreciate you want to plug it, right now? All good, man. Just follow me at K Gaslam, and uh, we'll see you guys. That's Jake Paul, right? Fuck Jay Paul, we're gonna get we're gonna catch him slipping one day. No, I'm <laughs> <laughs> All right, man, peace. Peace.